हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू यू पी एस विजाड्री आई होप यू गाइस माइट हैव सीन द पीडीएफ दैट आई हैड अपलोडेड आई हैड आस्ड यू गाइस टू कमेंट व्हाट आई यू वुड लाइक यू डाउट्स दैट आई यू वुड लाइक मी टू डिस्कस आई हैव गॉट फ्यू सम इन डीएम्स एंड सम ऑन द ग्रुप्स आई होप सम मोर पीपल वुड हैव आस्ड सम डाउट्स ओके बट नो प्रॉब्लम विल गेट स्टार्टेड विथ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री जी एस पेपर प्रेलिम्स जी एस पेपर सी आई बी टेलिंग यू यू नो वॉट आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन हाउ टू गो अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन वाई दीज क्वेश्चन केम लाइक आई विल गिव यू द प्रोबेबल रीजन वाई दीज क्वेश्चन केम ओके एंड यू नो हाउ टू यूज द एनालिटिकल स्किल यू नो एंड प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड टू आंसर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ओके so this is what i'll be telling you in this video also i would like to make a very big disclaimer at this outset itself that there is no alternative to knowledge and awareness for this exam yes uh, after knowledge logics come logic obviously works logic comes smart guesses comes but nothing uh, works like uh, solid knowledge we will also be talking about tick dum tick dum tick dums tick dams whatever we used to call it <coughs> we'll talk about it but only after exhausting you know our knowledge part uh, uh, you know if you see the questions uh, i can guarantee you if you see the questions in 2017 uh, it has become very dynamic and what uh, one thing you will feel about it is that upsc wants pe- students aspirants who are very well informed about what's going around them what's happening in the world you know if you, you know students who are receptive who have their eyes and ears open all the time you know so this is something upsc wants there was a question what's there in cold drinks brominated salt something like that not many people would know but somebody who is used to seeing what's what are the ingredients they are eating they are you know consuming that guy must have uh, answered that question so this is something uh, upsc wants from you i said in my first video that mentioned mentorship video for 2024 that the aim of upsc wizardry here at upsc vitality is to make you an aware aspirant you know having a world view having a view on day to day things and issues so if you are informed you are well informed you are cognizant of what's happening around you you are receptive of what's happening around you and you have a view about what ha- what's happening about you that is something upsc wants and that is something that reflects in your prelims paper so uh i will also tell you questions to avoid what are the type of questions you should avoid at the outset avoiding question is has two advantages first is uh, you might not be uh, knowing the right answer you might you know make a mistake and earn negative marks and secondly if you you know avoid the questions you ha- you get extra time 30 seconds for the questions where you need logic where you need presence of mind so these are the two advantages of avoiding questions i'll be telling you why avoiding question is as important as attempting questions so let's get started uh, uh, if you have seen the videos uh, green mark questions are the ones i have attempted i think i la- first count 73 attempted i might have circled one or two more at the end i'm not sure so 72 75 red mark questions are are the ones i didn't attempt i didn't spend more than 10 seconds some on some i might have spent more than 10 seconds but most of them i didn't spend more than 10 seconds yellow mark are the statements i had doubts but i went with them so yeah <coughs> uh first question is the uh, jhelum river pass this this question number 1 i was very sure about the first statement i was very sure about the second statement uh, it's a mappy question uh, i regularly keep seeing the maps i mean with the third question i was very sure that cover lake is a uh, you know oxpo lake formed by moody gandhar and it's given gandak here so i was confused if upsc made a mistake and if they will go for correct or wrong but i went with it i made sure that it's wrong and i ticked only two and i hope it's correct uh, we, are, we will see the answer later uh, this uh, second question is highly factual i didn't know i didn't spend even 5 seconds i just saw the statement and i just left it third question is mahua teak jackfruit which of them are deciduous trees uh, if you know mahua and teak uh, are uh, found in 
you know central indian plains and north indian plains both of these are found in wet and dry deciduous uh, forests so i was very sure about statement 2 and 3 also uh, i have studied in south india and uh, there is like everywhere you will see jackfruit trees and you will see that jackfruit trees don't you know shed their leaves and this is the characteristic of evergreen trees so yeah this is what i'm talking talking about be aware of what's around you try to be a le learner every day so jackfruit helped me and uh, i take uh, only two and for i it's correct question four it's directly out of economic survey uh, i will be uh, for the questions i will tell in the sources i will be compiling a pdf with screenshots and uh, uh, the sources, the, all these sources are standard sources, economic survey, NCRTs, newspapers and current affairs. Newspapers, recent newspapers like last one year newspaper, current affairs like last one year current affairs. I will be taking the screenshots and I will be making a PDF to prove these things. In this question, the last statement, third statement is very sh surely wrong. The average productivity per hectare in Indian agriculture is higher than that in China. You can read in any economic survey, the agriculture chapter, we always say that Indian agriculture productivity is low. You know, we are very input intensive, but our productivity is low. So we keep saying that uh, productivity is low. Obviously, third statement is wrong. India has more arable land than China. Yes, this is a state. This is very statement. This is part is from an economic survey. And this is part you would have read it several at many places. This is also, uh, this was second statement was also recently in news uh, and it, it's, I, I read it in some uh, magazine also. So first and second statements are correct. I went with only two. Fifth, run of Kutch. You know, we find uh, uh, marine deposits in run of Kutch. Okay. So, and it's talking about uh, sea level uh, rise. Okay. It's talking about EU static changes. You know, rise and fall of sea level or rise and fall of uh, land. Okay. So it's run of Kutch. Okay, you, you find marine deposits uh, only in places where there has been, you know, withdrawal of sea, you know, recession of sea. Six is factual. I knew I, uh, I could do it. Question seven, straight out of a diagram from economic survey of this year itself, economic survey 2023. I'll be attacking it in the PDF. This state, this question is straight out of economic survey of this year itself from the diagram. Diagram of NCRTs, diagram of economic survey, diagram of budget is very important and, and the boxes of economic survey mm, this is simple mapping you know you should start spending at least 15 to 20 minutes watching uh, you know uh, the atlases you know, every day seven days seven continents okay just keep doing it repeatedly one day you do the you know political features next day you do the physical features okay and mostly these questions come these are uh, these uh, uh, Mapping questions are uh, re related, you know, of something in news. Now let's come to question number nine. Amarkantank Hills, you know, uh, uh, important rivers uh, flow out of Amarkantank Hills, so on, Narmada, etc. It's saying Vindhya and Shayadri. Shayadri is the Western Ghats. They are re really far away. So this question, this statement is wrong. Bili Giri Danga Hills constitute easternmost part of Satpura range. If you have done, uh, you know, national parks, so you will know that Biliranga Rangan National Park is in Karnataka and Satpura is in Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so this statement becomes wrong. Sicha Shalam Hills constitute the southernmost part of Western Ghat. If you know, uh, Tirupati is located in Sicha Shalam Hills and it's in Eastern Ghat. So this statement is also wrong. So all the statements are wrong. So answer is none. See, this is just, this just required presence of mind. Amar Kantak, Vindhyan and Shayatri, Shayatri is Western Ghats, Vindhya is uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Amar Kantak is in Madhya Pradesh, uh, Jharkhand, uh, 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 UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, that border area, so it's wrong. Biligari Ranga, Karnataka, Satpura, Madhya Pradesh, wrong. Sicha Shalams, Eastern Ghat, it's given Western Ghat, it's wrong. Question 10, okay. This question I knew, first and third statement, second I didn't knew, I took a guess, like I, I went for all three. And it's correct. Uh, I knew East West Corridor for Golden Quadrator Bridge starts from Silchar, it's not Dibrugad, and it's Porbandar, not Surat. Uh, it's uh, it's given in 10th standard map, uh, in a 10th standard geography, uh, in, in a map in one chapter. I'll show you. Okay, this I knew. Uh, Kolkata to Kunming, it's it was in news all the time. This I was not sure, but I went for it, and it, it it's correct. Substitute guess, but you need to take guess, but I don't promote it. 
11th first statement is very obvious uranium enriched to extent of at least 60% required for production of electricity see uh, uh, iran was uh, I, I i how i did this statement second uh, is uh, uh, wrong is because i read in news that in iran was at some nuclear power plant enrichment plant it has enriched uranium to 60% level and then it becomes you know weapons grade so i eliminated this so basically for electricity production it's 20 to 40 percent uh, enriched uranium that is required 13th straightforward question marsupials are naturally are not naturally found in india obviously we should know that marsupials can th only thrive in mountain grassland with no predators why no why not and why no predator predators so it's wrong invasive species specialist group i avoided it straightforward 14th, I knew Malabar civet is uh, nocturnal because every photo, most photos of Malabar civet I have seen, it's in dark. So I was sure about Malabar civet, but I wasn't sure about the lion tailed macaw and samba deer, so I didn't. Uh, 15th, uh, which of the following organisms perform waggle dance for others of their kin to indicate the direction and the distance to a source of their food? Obviously, uh, people who spend like some time on Instagram reels might know it's honeybees. But SAB, it's a general information and it was in news. It, I will show you. Uh, it was in the Hindu uh, newspaper and uh, it was in magazine also. Uh, so it's said uh, honeybees. So it's straight uh, from the newspaper and from the current affairs. And obviously, if you love reels, you might, might have seen that waggle dance reel. So it's butterfly, uh, honeybees. Mushrooms, very straightforward. Uh, some mushrooms have medicinal properties, obviously. Some mushrooms have psychoactive properties. Obviously, you must have uh, heard about magic mushrooms. They are psychedelics. You know, um, you hallucinate if you have them. Some mushrooms have insects, insecticidal properties. Why not? Some mus mushrooms have bioluminescent properties. Why not? So these are reverse logics that you can use. Always, if there is a sub statement you have, you're doubtful, just ask yourself, why not? Why not? And if the answer is why, why not? So you go for it. The 17th statement, first two statements, I was sure about the Indian squirrel. Third statement, I was doubtful, but I was like, yeah, obviously they might be eating insects. So I went for it and uh, I went for all three. I hope it's correct. Most institutes have given it correct. 18th, yes. Uh, some microorganisms can grow in temperatures with temperature, but the boiling point, yes, we, we have seen around geysers. You know hot water geysers you know there are uh, microorganisms now there is a yellow national park uh, in usa a uh, yellow national park where there are several geysers and you can see a great variety of uh, biodiversity over there obviously some microorganisms can grow in environments with temperature below the freezing points yes they can and some microorganisms can grow in highly acidic environment with a ph below three yeah this also is there i went for all the three 19th, uh, I was uh, I had seen orangutans as well as sloth bears, uh, you know, pigs with uh, sticks. I went for or uh, with orangutan uh, because uh, they, they they are closer to human beings, so they have more you know their hand dexterity is better. You know they have opposable thumb and first finger is opposable, so that helps them you know catch sticks like we catch pen. It helps them catch their hand like sticks with their hand more you know properly with more dexterity and like so they can use it as a tool so i went with orangutan 20 i went for all four it's correct okay mostly these type of questions always all four until unless you have very strong reasons of why uh, hydro hydrofluorocarbon cannot be used in a foam agent as a foam agent as a lubricant 21st uh, 21st question like two minutes i just read the statements i just got over it 22nd question in the most pandemic recent past, many central banks worldwide had carried out interest rate hikes. Obviously, because of pandemic, there was breakdown in supply ch uh, chains and uh, uh, supply chains. So uh, there was supply side uh, inflation. Okay, so people were people. De there was demand, but there was supply side inflation. Factories were not working. There was supply chain uh, breakdown. So what uh, to control the supply chain inflation? Central bank around the world had increased, uh, increased their 
um, interest rate hike so that's true second statement is obviously logically very correct central banks will obviously you know change the interest rates to affect the monetary policy to you know to change the money supply so you know both uh, the statements are correct and uh, one is explanation of two yeah, economics mostly factual questions are coming and so uh, please depend on economics economics will give you very good results if you if your concepts in economics are clear and if you read economics survey budget you will be good, doing good in uh, economics questions 24th question uh, it's uh, it was in current affairs uh, it's a current affairs question uh, or everywhere you can see if you want me i can explain you uh, what is uh, market sterilization and yeah so it's the first one it's talking about capital markets we know capital markets are for long term so treasury bill is for less than one year call money is like short one night two night so obviously two and three not there one and four conceptual factual so it's this is it 26th no idea first time i had the term just left it didn't even 27th yes i had uh, i keep reading the you know uh, uh, official sources like uh, pib ministry reports so i had seen that niger okay niger is also a kharif crop i i was doubtful and this statement i knew niger niger seed it's an oil so obviously if it's a seed oil it will be it can be used as oil and some tribal people might be using it it's not that a fringe statement so i went for all the three and uh, it's correct it's surely correct uh yeah intangible investments obviously apart from inventory everything is intangible investment you know something that you cannot put exact value to you know you, if uh, there is a mailing list of 10 people okay that person might ask you see say, say you have a uh, you have a whatsapp of sharu khan and amitabh bachchan so you might ask somebody 10000 he will pay you that you might at 1 lakh he will pay you will pay him that somebody he may might ask 10 lakh and somebody might pay him that so there is no tangible uh, you know value brand recognition same intellectual property same mail list of client same you know now if you have seen on uh, nft people are making art okay these are intellectual property some nfts are telling for selling for 10000 some are telling for 10 millions 29 straightforward question six uh, do uh, do uh, this uh, criteria of 16 finance commission also it might come it might come in mains also uh, in gs paper 3 they are going for uh, very factual things these days very straightforward question stable government never how, how how like even if you don't know if you use reasoning you will know how how to classify if a government is stable or not who will say a government is stable or not 30 i have not heard of s3i sustainable investment in i didn't go for it just just left the question yes question number 31 in SN, what does due process of law mean? We know we, uh, it's a straightforward question from Lakshmi Khan. We know uh, we uh, borrowed procedures established by law from UK, United Kingdoms. That was it. But in Menka Gandhi case, Supreme Court gave a judgment that uh, we should move beyond procedures established by law and we should follow due process of law. So though in constitution it mentioned procedures established by law, but in practice you are following due process of law. And due process of law means that the law should be fair. Procedure established by law means that the law should be established by legislature. It should have the backing of the right authority. That is procedure established by law. But due process of law is that law should not be unfair. Okay, so it's C. And it's straightforward question, conceptual question, straight from Lakshmi Khan. 32. Uh, I knew the first statement is correct. I had no idea about the second statement. I left it. 33 chief purpose of constitution of country straight from the ncrt uh, working of indian constitution class 11th or 12th ncrt first chapter first chapter it's given you know it defines the limits and powers of the government straight forward from the ncrt 34 straight forward first amendment act was brought you know uh, so that uh, some uh, affirmative actions can be carried out you know uh, land sealing and uh, you know land reforms can be carried out and uh, l you know uh, legitimate restrictions on fundamental rights were put so but first uh, several several uh, provisions like you know uh, what are the you know circumstances under which fundamental rights can be curtailed article 19 special uh, was uh, done through first amendment act so it's a 
factual we are 35th straightforward lakshmigant straightforward uh, lakshmigant 36th uh, 37th lakshmigant straightforward uh, i shouldn't be telling this yes 38th question i'll tell you uh, there are some <coughs> there are some acts of government of india that are asked repeatedly and we will be making a small you know 10 to 15 uh, important acts summary for you guys every year they have been asking both in prelims and mains sometimes they are ask uh, they go very deep into right to information act sometimes they go into right to education act sometimes they go very good deep into forest conservation act sometimes they go very deep into you know forest rights act this is uh, this is straightforward question from uh, wildlife protection act of india uh, and uh, even if you don't know uh, we can go through logic obviously the first statement is correct of such forest community reserve is between the community there is a you know uh, agreement between the community and the uh, forest administration to create community reserves so and when, when this happens chief wild level becomes the governor, governing authority obviously hunting is not allowed in such area people of such area are allowed to collect timber produce obviously community reserves are like you know fringe areas of national parks in national parks also you know these things are allowed uh, collecting of non uh, timber produce okay so obviously in community reserves also it will be allowed people of such area allowed traditional agriculture practices traditional agricultural practices are zooming and all zooming and all are not allowed by logic also zooming and uh, other uh, slash and burn practices are discouraged by government so fourth you can uh, say no first one is correct second one is correct third one is correct so one two three i went with only three scheduled areas uh, uh, third statement you know uh, if you have if you would have read lakshmi can it's there governor needs to present annual report not chief minister uh, uh, even if you read ministry of tribal affairs first chapter it's given what is scheduled areas both fifth and sixth schedules are given in very detail in ministry of tribal affairs uh, in very detail every provision given even those provisions that are not there in you know lakshmi khan or when uh, you know those provision those provisions that are in uh, the schedules six and seven schedules fifth and sixth schedules so this second statement is correct and first statement is correct so yes this statement is straight out of lakshmi khan and it was also in news so yeah, yeah there it was in vision i remember this question no idea i i i i am very poor at uh, ancient and medieval history and also art and culture i don't read anything beyond ncrt's and r.a sharma for ncrt and uh, uh, r.a sharma the uh, penguin book i guess the small one and then ncrt 6 7 8 and then 12th uh, uh, that uh, themes uh, his themes of in history three themes ancient medieval history and then i read fine arts and then art and culture these are th these are two books of uh, 11th and 10th I don't read anything beyond that. No Nathan Singhane, nothing. No short note, nothing. Because it, it doesn't work. It has not worked for me since last four or five years. So I stopped it altogether. Uh, yes, 42. Uh, straightforward question. There was doubt in stupa in Buddhist uh, origin. But then I thought these stupas are like, uh, you know, commemorative uh, things, you know. They have a commemorative values. So there are, uh, you know, megalithic structures in South India. Then there were different types of uh, burial practices in uh, our north india so i thought and the stupa might be uh, earlier than buddhist origin so i went with it so i went for uh, uh, two and three only i 43 question is straight uh, from uh, ncrt sixth ncrt uh, muchiri and pompuhar are mentioned uh, of all the three dynasties their symbols and their ports are mentioned uh, in ncrt uh, Chora, Chera Pandyas. So uh, these are the Mucheris of Cheras, I guess, and Papuhar is of uh, Pandyas, I guess. I don't remember exactly right now. These are the three ports of three uh, ancient South Indian dynasties. No, I didn't know question number 44. What is Vata Kirutal? Even now, I don't know. Uh, so uh, as I told you, avoiding questions and saving time is very important. It, it, it pays. Uh, this Hoshala, Kakatiya and Yadava, you know, they were not uh, in 8th century, but I was doubtful about Gahadawala, so I didn't. 
देवी चंद्र गुप्ता आई नो इट वॉज नॉट बिलहा इट वॉज विशाख दत्ता बट आई नो आइडियाज अबाउट आई न्यू मिलन पाना वॉज नागर्जुना बट आई नो आइडिया अबाउट सेकंड एंड फोर्थ आई डेंट डू इट souls are not only the property of animals and plant but also of rocks running it's given in themes 12th as well as 6th or 7th in chapter it's jainism and if you even if you know you, you can re- refer any source jainism says that uh, soul uh, exist in all the um, beings uh, and vijayanagar empire devaraya in you um, this bahadur shah in you but i didn't attempt this question i did not attempt this question i was doubtful so i didn't attempt this question 50 state forward question charter act of 1833 charter act of 1833 yes 51 uh, as i have told you already if you are a regular reader of pib or if you read pib monthly compilation it's not large like it's 5 6 pages max you will have very good you will be doing the schemes through and through You will be doing all the schemes correctly. This is a scheme, Janani Suraksha Yojana. It was launched in sixteen seventeen. I guess if you see, it's the statements have been copied verbatim from there. If you know Janani Suraksha scheme is under National Health Mission, the first statement is wrong. Obviously, aim is first. Second statement is the aim. Third statement is the aim. These you will find verbatim in PIB. If you search Janani Suraksha Yojana, I had been reading. PIB, so I know it. It's there. Post statement is not correct. It it you will never find this uh, associated with Janani Suraksha Yojana. Fifty two. Yes, uh, Anebia Mukta Bharat strategy. Uh, first statement, if you see profile lact profile lactic calcium supplement. Obviously, for anemia we get give iron if I iron sub supplement. You know, folic acid supplement. So first statement is wrong. Okay, second statement is correct. Third statement is correct. Uh, tell me in comments uh, what we give for deworming to the children okay and uh, it addresses non nutritional causes of anemia and endemic pockets this is also correct so second third and fourth statement is correct and this is straight from pib just search anemia mukt bharat strategy in pib i have read it so i remember and these questions are verbatim these questions have not been you know no no, no change of words you know copy and paste it 53 straight forward kind of parameters are used obviously in automobiles and aircrafts you know if you know f1 uh, racing formula 1 racing they are made uh, the car is made, made chassis is made of uh, carbon fibers obviously carbon fibers can be you know curated and recycled 54th first is obviously detection of car crash happens by um, uh, by accelerometer what happens is when car is speeding and if there is sudden decrease in acceleration beyond a speed so it is taken as a crash and then the airbags deploy uh, third is also you know these uh, these accelerometers are called gyroscopes they tell you the direction you know something something on the line of gyroscope i was doubtful of second statement but then i saw uh, you know uh, read the last statement results in immediate turning of the hard drive if your hard drive is saved your data is saved so i went for it i went for all three and then i did my research it's correct Fifty uh, five. I was sure about second and third statement because I have been reading about bioflag, which the government is prom- promoting bioflag method. Government is produ- pro- pro- uh, promoting through you know that uh, uh, matsya matsya sampada yojana. So I read it there. Uh, I was doubtful about removing unneeded fish feed, but uh, I went for it. Uh, it was a good guess. I went for uh, first statement. I took it wrong because it doesn't remove it. Um, obviously, ammonia in fish is waste to nitrate. It happens. Biofilter increases phosphorus. No, obviously, biofilter won't increase phosphorus because it for phosphorus will increase eutrophication will happen and that will not be good for fish. So it should decrease. So I went with three. Three is wrong. Fifty sixth. Uh, if you know nebula, nebula is giant clouds of dust and gas in space. This I was very sure about. So if this is matched with something else, this is wrong. And nebula is this. And uh, uh, satellites is matched with giant clouds of dust and gas in space, so obviously this is also wrong. So these two are wrong. So I had left with two options: only one that pulsar is Newton stars that are formed when massive stars run out of fusion collapse, or none. Okay, I went with none, and it was right. 
I guess I went with none. I, I don't remember. So I was only left with only one or uh, D, only one and none. I went with one of it. I'll have to see my papers. So uh, I el eliminated one and two. So it was on, on, it was neither all three. It was neither only two. So it was one of them A or D. It's uh, Japan, obviously. They have something Q Z Z S S. Canada, Israel, Australia doesn't have. Uh, which uh, please comment what's the uh, you know uh, uh, system uh, navigation system of russia and uh, china 58 uh, very logical question ballistic missiles are jet propelled at subsonic speeds through throughout their flight while cruise missiles are rocket powered only in initial phase of flight the statements have been reserved ballistic missiles are only you know uh, you know uh, propelled in initial and last phase whereas cruise missiles are you know uh, powered throughout the uh, throughout the flight so ballistic missiles need less fuel so they can less fuels so uh, lo, uh, you know lo, lower uh, as the fuel is uh, low they can you know uh, can go greater distances whereas uh, cruise missiles need l huge amount of fuel huge amount of fuel so they cannot go that large distance so cruise missiles you know they are limited to like 400 500 kilometers some some they have gone to thousand kilometers also but most cruise missiles are 500 600 kilometers our bombos our bombos was 290 and after we joined uh, that uh, no uh, uh, australia group i guess uh, we have increased to 500 kilometers so uh, cruise missiles are short range and they are you know propelled throughout the flight ballistic missiles are long range and they are propelled only in the initial and uh, end phases uh, as you know agni 5 is part of our intercontinental ballistic missile program so it's a ballistic missile so it's wrong so both the statements are wrong very logical question even if you don't know you know agni 5 is part of icbm intercontinental ballistic missile program started by apj abdul kalam so you could have done this Yes, uh, the, the, I was a little bit doubtful about no safe level of exposure to mercury, but mercury is highly toxic. So I think there should any level of uh, exposure to mercury should be, you know, unsafe. So I went for all three and it's correct. I guess let's see what UPC, what answer UPC gives. Yes, green hydrogen straightforward. It's given in, it has been given in several articles in, you'll read in Vision magazine, any magazine, you know, on green hydrogen, advantages of green hydrogen and uh, disadvantages of green hydrogen these points have been given yes ukraine was in news because of ukraine war so i i was watching the map around ukraine what are the rivers flowing through ukraine what what are the uh, neighboring states what are the physical features all those things and you will see two three questions have come from related to ukraine associated with ukraine so it's uh, you can see i did it right right now i cannot 62 and no idea no idea about even one single statement didn't didn't touch 660 straightforward question from uh, you can read in any uh, standard book uh, Sri Ram you can read uh, Vajiram yellow book you can read GC long obviously G it's given in GC long it's from GC long straightforward question uh, the soil and tropical rainforest is rich in nutrients is wrong because it's it, it, it is washed away or it leaches down and uh, the high temperature moisture of tropical rain causes dead organic matter in the soil to decompose quickly so both these statements you can do it 64 straight from ncrt uh, 11th ncrt fundamentals of physical geography or gc long also it's given you can see in the diagram in the ncrt there is a diagram where you will see that the contrast between continents and oceans is greater during summer than in winter you will see you know isotherms when you see the isotherms of winter and summer you will come to know uh, the about the contrast and obviously specific heat of water is more than that of land because of specific heat of water we use, use it as a coolant and radiator, radiator because it can store more heat it heats slowly and it cools slowly so it has high specific heat and it can hold high amount of heat straightforward question straight 65 straightforward question 66th uh, reverse logic none of them use sea water why not None of them is set up in water state area. Why not? I am from Bokaro. There is Bokaro Thalmar plant. It's a water state state. Jharkhand is a water state state. Why not? None of them is privately owned. Adani is one of the largest uh, thermal uh, power producing uh, company. Adani power. So obviously why not? No. 
it's it's in news you can at least you you, you could have been sure about two and three one maybe not but i was sure that some someone might be using 67 uh, question wall bachia method it's been in use since last four to five years it's controlling the viral disease spread by mosquitoes you will see in any any uh, current affairs magazine just search wall bachia method and vision is wall bachia mission Vajinam IS, you will see it there in the news. You see search Wal Bachiya on Hindu, uh, Indian Express, anywhere. It's 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 been there in the news since last three, four years. Basalt is uh, uh, spreading finely ground basalt rock on farmlands extensively. Bas basalt is basically iron oxides, you know, silicon oxides, a combination of iron oxides, like uh, metal oxides, sorry. So metal oxides uh, are very good uh, at uh, you know neutralizing carbon dioxide so first one is correct you know increasing the alkalinity of oceans by adding lime this is also correct actually when you add lime cao2 ocean then what happens is cao reacts with co2 and forms calcium carbonate and this calcium carbonate gets you know sequestered in the uh, you know uh, floor you know sea floor so this is correct and third statement is obviously correct this is one of the methods of sequestering carbon uh, we in coal seams we sequester carbon in uh, oil, uh, oil seams okay oil uh, well we sequester carbon so all these statements correct 69 no idea didn't touch it 70 no idea didn't touch it yes obviously i can now say i know what is micro satellite material meta genomics and i can say yes i knew it but no uh, i would uh, refrain from doing that so we have done till 17 i'll be making one more video if the video gets large people don't see the video so i'll be doing for the next 30 questions and uh, uh, 71 to 100 and then what we get to learn from these things the most important part i'll be get doing in the next video uh, so uh, keep watching and please if there is any more question i have not yet made the next uh, video for the last 30 questions uh, i i I have done my uh, homework, but I have not made the video. So if there is anything you want to ask, please do ask so that I can, you know, um, reciprocate and put that in the next video. Thank you. See you.